वेलकम बैक माई नेम इज प्रियंद्र कुमार एंड टूडे वी विल लर्न हाउ टू क्रिएट स्टार रेटिंग चार्ट इन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सल सो एज यू आर सींग माई स्क्रीन आई हैव एम्प्लॉय नेम एंड देयर परफॉर्मेंस स्कोर नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू गिव देम द स्टार रेटिंग आउट ऑफ फाइव हाउ मेनी स्टार दे वुड बी गिविन ऑन द बेस ऑफ दिस परफॉर्मेंस स्कोर फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू विल सी Alvin is on 30 so Alvin has been given 1 and 1/2 star if i would put 100 here then you can see Alvin has been given 5 star okay if i will put 40 then 2 star so that means uh, we have to uh, divide 100% divide by 5 because maximum star will be 5 okay so for 20% there will be one star for 40 two star for 60 three star and if it is 50 then you can see two and half star okay friends and uh, i will also tell you how we can use this uh, monitor effects and this table by using the excel auto shapes okay i haven't used any kind of picture here to create this infographics so let's start I'm going to copy this data and I will add a new worksheet. Click on this plus button and I will paste the data here. Now first of all I will select this data and I'll go to the insert and I will insert a bar graph from here, insert bar chart and I will take this one which is 2D bar. Now right click on the axis and go to the format axis. and here in format axis i'll take minimum as 0 maximum value i'll take 1 because our maximum performance will, will be 100% and measure i will take uh, 0.2 which is already there but i want to take it as manually so that it will not change okay uh, now i will remove this axis press delete now i want to remove the grid lines also Now right click on the chart go to the format data series and here in format data series you will see gap width is 182% so i want to change it as 0% Okay and now i'll go to the format and i'll take save fill as no fill for the entire chart and shape outline as no outline Now I will go to the insert and I will insert a shape from uh, shapes and from here I will take the star and banners and I will take this one which is 5 point star click and press uh, shift key and then drag a small star like that Now I'll go to the format and I will choose shape style from here. So I want to take this yellow one. Okay. Now I will give the preset for this shape. So I will again go to the format and I'll go to the shape effects. In shape effects I'll go to the preset and I will take this one which is preset 5. Okay friends, but I don't want this shadow effect. So what I will do, I'll go to the again format Now this time I will go to the shadow and I will take this one which is no shadow. So our star is ready. Now I will copy this star. I'll select the bar and I will press control V paste. Okay. So you can see a big star is showing here. Now what I will do I'll right click on this go to the format data series. and here in format data series i'll go to the fill and line and under fill if you will see here picture or texture uh, fill is selected now i'll scroll it down and here you will see stretch is selected currently so i want to select this stretch and scale width so click on this and here if you will see one is here now i want to put one picture for each 20% so i'll give here 0.2 
0.2 so 0.2 means 20 percent now you can see our chart is ready now we can format this so go to select this uh, vertical axis go to the home give it the black color and make it bold same for uh, performance make it bold now right click and add data level and same for data level make data level bold and black now we don't need this star or I can keep it here when I will upload this excel file to my google drive and you can download it from there then you can use this star also okay so I'm not deleting this I'm keeping it here okay uh, now right click on the chart go to the format chart area and here in format chart area I'll select border automatic and now scroll it down and you will see a rounded corner here so click on this now you can see a rounded corner of the uh, waters chart water okay now we will give this monitor effect so to give this monitor effect what I will do I'll insert a shape from here so I'll take this one which is rounded rectangle and I will drag this shape over this chart now right click this shape go to the uh, format shape and from here I'll give some transparency for the time being so that I can see uh, the chart behind this to adjust the size and I will select no line in the line okay now I'm able to see the chart and the border so what I will do I'll adjust this as per the chart okay friend now we don't uh, need this transparency so I'll take it as zero and I will fill it as black color now I want to give the preset to the shape so I'll go to the shape effects and preset and I'll again give this preset 5 but I don't want the uh, this uh, shadow effects so what I will do I'll go to the shadow and again I will choose this no shadow now right click on this black shape and click on send to back okay friends so to this chart we will fill the gradient fill actually no fill will not be suitable so I'll go to the gradient fill select the chart and uh, go to the gradient fill and from preset I'll take first one this is which is light gradient accent one like this now it will be okay for this shape I will keep this shape here so you can adjust this shape I'll tell you the uh, method select the chart and then select the uh, press control and select this shape now go to the format and from align you can align it center then you can align it middle then you will see it is in the middle portion okay we can change little bit of width height sorry now again we can align it send uh, middle like that okay friends so uh, now we, i will create this stand and table for this led so i'll go to the insert and i will insert a shape from uh, basic shapes i'll take this one and i'll drag it here like that now right click on this go to the format shape and uh, in fill i'll take gradient fill so in gradient fill the uh, default or the last gradient with which we have used is showing here so i'll remove one stop select anyone and delete and sorry and this keep in the middle on 50 percent for first i'll select the first stop and will give the color this one which is black and the last i'll again give the color which is black and for middle i'll give the uh, dark gray color you can take this one and now from direction i'll choose this one which is 
this direction which is linear right okay friend so at uh, this stand is ready now uh, i'll give the uh, line uh, which is the border of this so i'll take this one black or this you can take this gray color okay so i'll keep it here right click and send to back now i'll go to the insert and i will insert a oval shape here and just click here so you will see a oval has been created now i'll select press the shift key and make it bigger now I'll go to the fill and I will fill it as black color and I'll choose no outline for this now I will go to effects from here and under effects I'll go to the 3d rotation and from 3d rotation I'll go to the presets and in presets I'll go to the perspective and I will select this one which is perspective relaxed now in Y rotation, I'll change the angle little, little bit of uh, like that. Click on this uh, down arrow couple of time. Now this is okay. Now he, I will click on this 3D format. In 3D format, I'll choose the top bevel, this one which is one first circular circle. Now you, you will see a small stand has been created right click send to back so we can give the this stand outline as black because yes now it's okay so our uh, this monitor is ready now can click here this this sorry you can make this group by selecting Ctrl A, remove this chart, make this group. Now we will create this table by using the Excel shapes. So to creating this table, I will insert a shape which is this one rounded rectangle like that. Now right click, go to the format shape again. I will fill it no fill no line uh, for the border line and I will fill it picture and texture right and from texture I'll open this texture window and select this one or you can take this one okay now I'll go to the un uh, effect again and we'll repeat the same activity I'll take uh, from 3d rotation I will take the perspective relaxed and we can change the angle now again I will take the this bevel okay now you can keep it here right click and send to back now we can create the uh, lags of this table to creating the lags uh, I'll take simple this shape which is can and just drag it here now right click go to the format and uh, no line and take fill as we'll take this one which is or and accent to darker 50 percent i'll keep it here right click and send to back i'll make the copy of this and I will keep it here right click and send to back again one more copy and I will keep it here like that right click and send to back copy I'll keep it here right click and send to back now you can arrange the bottom of these two bottom same for these two you can arrange the bottom align and bottom so friends uh, our uh, chart is ready now you can remove the grid lines settings so like that you can use uh, the auto saves and you can create anything in microsoft excel i hope you have enjoyed this video